it's been a week since the election and uh most of the adult pretenders in hollywood have been pretty quiet since the election took place back on november 5th um one of those that's been quiet has been one of president trump's staunchest critics and that is mark ruffalo you know the same mark ruffalo that plays the hulk the same mark ruffalo that star has started in the avengers well it turns out he was making a speech i think this was yesterday at the aclu socal's bill of rights awards and uh According to this article at thatparkplace.com, written by M. Montanero, Disney Marvel actor Mark Ruffalo says he's feeling fear after Trump's election win in, spe- in speech at ACLU. So what did, Mark, what did Mark have to say? Let's find out, shall we? And what happens. Um, and thank you, uh... ACLU of Southern California for all you do. And uh, frankly, what you will be doing in two weeks and months and years ahead. Um, We got our asses kicked. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But sometimes you have to spend a little time in bed before it happens. It's, uh, it's, it was hard to come here, honestly. so we need the ACLU of Southern California um, for your skills um, and among many other things to protect us in this country. Now suffice to say, it's overwhelming and humbling to receive this special honor. I'm really heartened to stand uh, with, with the company of tonight's honorees. We've heard such great stories and seen such beautiful tributes to everybody. And I'm also grateful to be here in attendance with all of you guys. The fact that we're here says a great deal about what we all care about in this life. And I want to appreciate you all for your, for your values and the grief and the fear that you most acutely may be feeling as well. The grief and the fear from what? Prosperity? Um, protections against censorship, protecting the first amendment. I don't, I don't know what, I I don't know what the fear is. Cause I know I, we, uh, we suffered a great loss. It's a loss uh, that touches deeply on so much of what we've worked for and we've hoped for dreamed of for such a long time now. Such a great loss. Mark, you sound like you're at a funeral. I mean, all this has proved is that celebrity endorsements, and I don't care if they're on the right or the left, don't really move the needle anymore. Especially for the amount of money the Harris campaign shelled out. I think, I think I saw the number was upwards of $20 million that was paid to celebrities or management companies of these celebrities for them to come out and endorse Kamala Harris. So, I want to do something a little unorthodox, a little like, you know, um, a participatory kind of thing. (laughs) So, I want everyone to stand up, those of you who can. Come on up. Now, I want you to turn to the person that is next to you and give them a hug. (laughs) (laughs) Even this couple fighting here. So we have to have our big kumbaya moment. That's what that is. It's 
So, as you can see in his little speech there, and according to the article here on thatparkplace.com, he, he went on to talk about the incoming Trump administration as though it were some kind of horrifying monster or national dis natural disaster making its way to the, toward the United States and expressed fear over what it was coming. Again, what, what's there to be afraid about? Getting back to normalcy? I mean, the American public rejected woke ideology. Soundly rejected woke ideology. And as I stated before, Mark Ruffalo is one of many celebrities that began by endorsing Joe Biden. And as soon as Joe Biden was ousted as Democrat nominee, which many of these celebrities really didn't like Kamala Harris, just so you know. Um, they immediately turned to Kamala Harris and said, we got your back. But after the, the loss of the election, which, by the way, the Republicans also won the Senate and have won the House, so we got the trifecta. Um, many of these so-called supporters of Kamala Harris have gone silent. I mean, Bette Midler deleted her ex account. Mark Hamill, he posted something after the election and he hasn't been heard from since. This is the first we've heard from Mark Ruffalo. And again, you could, you could trot out whoever you want. George Clooney, he's, he's saying he's backing away from politics. Harrison Ford, Michael Keaton, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, Bruce Springsteen, Lizzo, Cardi B. You name it. These are all people that came out for Kamala Harris. But it didn't move the needle. So let's not forget one last thing here. I did a video about this uh, a week or so ago. The Avengers assemble again. And if you notice here, comments. Restricted, locked down. In fact, the only comment on this um, is from Mark himself after the fact. Where he says, don't sit this one out. It's the one where we will lose. Or it's the one where we will lose big. Project 2025, women's reproductive rights, climate change, LGBTQIA plus rights, public education, student debt relief, Affordable Care Act, Social Security, and as of today, life-saving vaccines. This shit is real, and it's going to come for you. Take three friends and know, no matter what, you are a hero. Always give it all. Most of the stuff he mentions isn't part of the Trump agenda. Project 2025? No. Women's reproductive rights, we all know what that is. Um, that's back at the states where it belongs. Climate change? Oh, well, climate's always changing. Climate has been changing for millions and millions of years. LGBTQIA plus rights? Those aren't going to be taken away. Public education? Yeah, in the Department of Education at the federal level. Send it back to the states. Student debt relief? Uh, the Obama, or I should say the Biden administration has tried it. They've been struck down by the Supreme Court, but they've done it anyway. They've ignored the court. Affordable Care Act? That's too entrenched. It ain't going anywhere. Social Security? It ain't going anywhere. In fact, I probably won't even see Social Security when I retire. Even though I've been paying into the system since I was 16. And life-saving vaccines. Well, I can't say here on YouTube what I really want to say about that. So there you go. Mark Ruffalo, he's, he's afraid. He's fearing four years of President Trump in the White House. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Why are at it? Please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Both free, best way you can support the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, 
I will see you guys.